is working to hear concerns from those who live there. And today, County Manager Romilda Crocomo held a town hall meeting at the Hazleton Community Center. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules was at that meeting and tells us more on what the manager and council are aiming to accomplish. Alicia. And the Luzerne County Manager says that with the county being so large, town hall meetings like these are very important to hear from every resident. Monday, Luzerne County Manager Romilda Crocomo, along with other county officials, including District Attorney Sam Sanguidoce and County Council Chair John Lombardo, sat down with those who live in the county to discuss upcoming projects and some of their most recent successes. During the meeting, Crocomo boasted about how the primary elections went smoothly for the county, saying she is proud of the elections board and everyone else involved. We were prepared for a lot of different contingencies, uh, a lot of some of them that we didn't have to use and some of them that we did. So uh, it's preparation and it's dedication and commitment. During the question and answer portion of the town hall, some concerns were raised regarding confusion with ballot drop offs. Crocomo says that alerting the correct personnel is important in order for the board to solve any problems. If there is a problem before the election or on election day, you have to call the bureau. Another comment brought up during the town hall, issues with 911 services, specifically ambulance services and claimed long response times. Although the county is not responsible for EMS services, County Council Chair and full-time Pittston firefighter John Lombardo says that some regionalizing 911 services may be beneficial for certain towns and cities to look into. Essentially what is happening is you're getting together all of your equipment, you're getting together all of your funding, and you're creating one big conglomerate of a department that will serve the towns that you would have served if you were individual, but now you're serving them together. The county officials plan to bring these town hall meetings to other locations across the county. They plan to announce where their next one will be in the next two weeks. Reporting live, I'm Alicia Hercules with Fox 56 News, first at 10.